If you're anything like me, I went to school and they taught me nothing about null pointer exceptions. I had to figure it out on my own and I had to go through hours and hours and late nights and it was awful. I couldn't figure out what was going on. If you're going through the same thing, I'm here to help you, okay? I feel you, I feel, I feel the pain. So if you watch this video all the way through, you will hopefully get to fix your null pointer exception and also get to learn a little bit about what they are and how they can help you get working code. Hey, what's up? I'm Alex, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make Java tutorials just like this every single week. So if you're new here, then consider hitting that subscribe button. So let's first start off by looking at some null pointer exception Java code. Let's make our own Java file and go from there. So we'll go to file, new, Java project, null pointer exception is what we'll call our project. Hit finish on the source folder, right click and go to new class. We'll call it null pointer again. Take this first check mark and hit finish. Let's create our own null pointer exception and then try to fix it together. So an easy way to do this is just to make a string. <clears throat> Actually, it's really easy to make a null pointer exception in a bunch of different ways. That's why they're so common. But I'm just going to make a string called a and set it equal to monkey. And if we print out a, we should get monkey printed out. So I'll just save it and run it. And yes, we get the monkey. But if this was something called null, that's a keyword, null, just like int, like how we type uh, int here, it turns purple, that means it's a keyword. So this n-u-l-l -L is a keyword to Java. And I'm gonna explain everything here in a second. But I'm just gonna save it. Now a is null, what happens when we print it? Let's click the run button, see what happens. We get null. Okay, that's interesting in and of itself, but we're trying to make a null pointer exception. So let's try to do something with our string. Let's say a dot to bring out what that string can do. And we'll try to say like get the length of it. Type length in parentheses to try to get the length of that string. So we'll save that and run it. And we get some red words. <laughs> And it looks really bad because it's like, ah, it's not printing out what I want it to. It's not working. The first word you see here is exception. I'm going to bring up the definition of exception. It says an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program that disrupts the normal flow of the program's instructions. So when we hit the run button and execute a program, Java is trying to check all the code to make sure it's okay, that the code checks out, we're not doing anything weird. But if something's not right, it puts an exception on the screen. An exception is kind of like an error, but it helps to tell you what's going on. So back to our program. When we try to see the length of A, we get the words exception in thread main, java.lang.nullpointer exception. And this is that dreaded null pointer exception that is so common across everywhere. The last line here says at nullpointer.main, nullpointer.java7. This means our file, nullpointer, and the main method, Null pointer dot main is at line seven. Line seven right here corresponds to where the null pointer's exception was found. So it's helping us. This is actually like, it looks scary, but it's actually a friendly message saying, hey, I noticed something was wrong. Try checking line seven. And this was the problem. If you read it like that, your life's so much easier. Every time I got this, I was like, oh man. And then I copied and pasted the exception into Google and tried to find out a way to fix it, but it never got fixed. So I'm gonna hopefully try to help you out now. And I'll start by explaining what null is, cause I didn't do that yet. Since I'm a millennial, I grew up with the internet. I'm just gonna search the definition of null in Java, cause it probably does a little bit better of explaining than I can. It says, in Java programming, null can be assigned to any variable of a reference type to indicate that the variable does not refer to any object or array. And that's not helpful at all. I'm, I'm sorry I even brought that up. And what it's saying is that this keyword null, it's a keyword since um, it's in purple, can be assigned to something like a string or an array list or a map or anything as sort of like a placeholder. A exists, but there's nothing in it. And that's what null means. It's kind of like an empty container. We have a container with I in it, like a little plastic box that, that makes a little sound when you hit the table. Our empty, clear plastic container is A, but there's nothing inside of it. If we put the word dog in here, 
then dog would be in the container. If we put the word cat in here, then cat would be in the container. But if it's null, then that means the container is empty. If this was two double quotes like that, then the container would have an empty string inside it, which is different than just nothing. So this makes total sense. Why are we trying to get the length of nothing? If the word dog was in our little plastic clear container, we could get the length of that. It's three. If there was an empty string in here, we could get the length of that even, it would be zero. But if there's, if there's nothing in it, we can't do anything to it. We are pointing this code to try to do something to nothing. It's a null pointer exception. We're trying to do something to nothing. So when we try to run our code, we can't. It's an event that changes the flow of the program to not get run. Let's try to do some more stuff here with null in Java. Let's try to make an integer i and see what happens if we set that equal to null. We actually can't, and let's, uh, let's hover over it. Let's see, type mismatch cannot convert from null to int. An integer is something called a primitive type, just like double or long or float. These are all built into Java. A <laughs> flot, <laughs> float. These are all built into Java, which means they're primitive. They were there, they were there before. But things like string, like this, or a scanner, like this. I'm just gonna make a scanner real quick. And I'll just hover over it and import that into our program. And I'll just type this something in here to fix that. Things like string and scanner were sort of built on top of Java. So they're not primitive. And so that's kind of the rule. Null cannot be assigned to a primitive um, variable, but they can be um, to objects or things built on top of Java, like this. We don't have any errors here, but we have an error here assigning it to an integer. So let's continue like with scanner here, for example. A scanner gets input from a user, and to do that, you would type the name of your scanner, dot, next, um, we say next integer, like next int. That gets input from this console window. If we save this and run it, we see the red and blue text again. Something's not right. And the first word's exception. An event happened that changed what it's actually, what we actually want it to do. In thread main, main method, java.lang.null pointer exception. At the null pointer class, which is our class, dot main right there, and then line eight. So it says it's exactly where the null pointer exception is. It's very helpful. So to try to fix our null pointer exception, we come here and we start on the left, we see scan dot next int. That's the correct code, but the action next int we're trying to do on our scan object is pointing to nothing, an empty plastic container. If our empty plastic container had a scanner object like this, and we type system.in in here, which is just getting input from this console window, if we save it and run that, if we ask the user to enter number, enter any number, and then we print out that number back, save it and run it, Enter number, we enter three, we get three back, and it's working how it should. Since now our empty plastic container has a scanner which helps us get input from a user, it's set up right, I can actually take it and use it to get an integer. But if there's no scanner in there at all, and I try to do something with it, I can't because nothing's there. It's like saying I have a pen, I take the cap off the pen. If there's no pen here to begin with, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't take a cap off it because it's not there to begin with. I'm pointing to nothing and that makes it not work. A null pointer exception. So I really hope this was helpful for you. This is sort of my first time explaining it out loud. Um, and to help fix your null pointer exception, just look at the object you're trying to do actions to. Like if you're trying to do the add method on an array list. Make sure that that array list is set up correctly, meaning it's declared correctly, you have the right setup for it, like you have objects in there, whatever you need to set it up so it's not empty, so you can actually do stuff with it. So I hope this 
Null pointer exception Java code helped you out. Um, if it did, please leave a comment for me. Tell me what I can improve on. Um, if I can change examples or anything to help you learn how to code. As always, I appreciate you being here. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that so much. And I'll catch you guys next week.